Hello and welcome to the Great Unicorn Hunt with our series of introducing budding startups who have the potential of becoming the next unicorn. Today we have Prashant Reddy, the founder of PQ. Hello Prashant, how are you? Hi Mega, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Uh, so can you introduce yourself to our audience please? Hi, uh, hello. <clears throat> hello everyone. Uh, we are a last mile logistics company uh, based out of Hyderabad and we are working with uh, different sorts of e-commerce companies starting from e-commerce and also quick commerce where uh, we typically operate from uh, uh, our nano distribution points. We call them, I'll explain you in detail, but we are a last mile logistics company uh, mm -hmm. to just to brief about what we do as well. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, we'll jump into the rapid fire uh, round only. I'll be asking you a couple of questions for the audience to understand more about your company, PQ. So are you ready? Shall we start? Sure, yeah, please. Uh, so exactly what problems or issues in the logistic industry are you guys solving? See, in logistics, basically, there are two major problems what we have identified uh, which needs to be solved. One is one of the uh, major thing here is TAT, TAT, that is turnaround time. The promise, whatever the companies give to the customers is uh, uh, basically whenever whatever they promise, let's say same day or 48 hours or 72 hours delivery, there has been a huge challenge for the companies to get this solved. One and second thing, the major uh, problem here is manpower. After coming after uh, this quick commerce has come into place, everyone are looking for delivery executives, but the delivery executives are not in place. I mean, we're not getting companies or not getting delivery executives where these are the two major uh, challenges or problems what we are uh, going to solve here you right now and apart from these two we have the sector which is unorganized that everyone um, will tell this but we are eventually solving that point also parallelly with technology these are the four areas and we are focusing on two one is manpower retention delivery executive retention second thing what we have got is turnaround time like uh, the promise whatever companies give that will be fulfilled through pq without any hassles Okay, so can you tell us more about your company, uh, PQ? PQ uh, founded in 20, uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 2020, basically, and we are uh, into uh, operating Hyderabad and we have spread it across different states of India and uh, starting from uh, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, Tamil Nadu, and we have entered recently into northern states as well, Delhi, NCR, Jaipur, and also we're operating in Maharashtra, Mumbai and Pune. And we're also are one of the niche area. What we've got here is we are operating in tier two districts, as in uh, districts uh, with a population of five to six lakhs, where companies won't have good access there. And we are spreading our uh, base into this tier two locations, which is going to be a huge asset for PQ uh, going forward. Um, okay. So why do you think what you are doing is working? Now, the major uh, two reasons as we have identified in the problem statement, one is manpower retention. Second one, what we have got uh, uh, here is turnaround time. Uh, the focus in these two areas are being solved in a very organized manner. To solve the first issue, which is turnaround time, the, uh, on an average, a delivery executive travel period, travel as in per day travel uh, distance would be uh, in a normal scenario, it would be 150 to 200 kilometers per day in cities like uh, Hyderabad or Chennai or in Delhi. But whereas with PQ, what we have done is we have set up our own nano distribution points. We, we call them where each and every pin code will have a small distribution center. And from the distribution center to the customer place won't be a three to four kilometer radius. A typical travel distance by a delivery executive at pickup at PQ is going to be hardly like 25 to 30 kilometers, not more than that. That is one of the major reason and the retention rate uh, with the delivery executives with PQ is very high and people are uh, retaining with us and we have de delivery executives for longer periods. Uh, due to their earning has increased one. Second thing is the travel distance has been reduced. And uh, end of the day, they have got the flexibility to work with PQ anytime they wanted. This is one area uh, which is directly linked to 
manpower retention and also uh, linked to turnaround time. Now companies can, if they are relying on PQ, we promise them, if, if the company has promised uh, same day delivery to their customers, if they are working with PQ, uh, we can deliver it in two to three. Due to this travel distances and our uh, distribution centers placed in the customer pin code. So that once the shipment reaches to our distribution center, then immediately the delivery will happen within uh, two to three hours is what the promise we make to the to our vendors, basically, to our, to our clients. Okay. Uh, what are the upsides, logically speaking, as per the wildest dreams? Uh, logically speaking, uh, I mean, wildest dreams is in we wanted to uh, take PQ to the next level. Expansion will happen uh, drastically in all the states of India. We are going to cover 90% of the PIN codes uh, very soon. Ideally, we are aiming it within uh, two to three hours. We'll be uh, spreading across uh, PIN codes in India. At least 90% is what the target. And the next level is going to be we are going to enter into Middle East market, which is very huge right now. And parallelly, uh, with my background, uh, we have, I mean, I personally worked in uh, the United Kingdom and uh, have experience in uh, handling those markets as well. And we are going to enter in UK and also Canadian uh, market. It's very three areas which we are targeting for the next uh, two to three years and spreading across India, all states, all pin codes, all I wouldn't say, but at least 90% of the pin codes and set up our base, strong base in tier two locations, which is a uh, uh, very uh, positive thing for PQ. Okay. Uh, what do you think are the risks in this business? Risks are everywhere. Uh, but in this business, what I would say, uh, the what problem statement, what we have mentioned is uh, the risk as well, because we are promising retention of delivery executives where we are focusing uh, to retain them. And we parallelly, the risk is there with the fleet management, but parallelly, we are working on the solutions as well. Uh, like we are getting delivery executives from uh, far off locations and we provide them different sorts of facilities in the cities to work as well. Uh, that's a kind of risk. Parallelly, we have got a solution for that risk as well. But to uh, address immediately, I would say, uh, <clears throat> delivery executive retention is one of the risk factor because uh, we handle them on the ground. This is one of the major risk area, risk factor, what we uh, think right now. Okay, So Prashant, tell me, why are you the best team to do this? Uh, best team, we are three co-founders and uh, our experience is like we are died in wool logistics, I would say. Uh, where uh, we back uh, all three founders are uh, uh, logistics background with over 35 years of experience, uh, cumulative experience, and in different industries. I work come from e-com uh, e-commerce industries, and someone other other uh, uh, co-founder come from uh, typical uh, fleet uh, PTL full time uh, full track load and. Uh, part track load kind of experience and everyone has got different sorts of experience that to in logistics and we can handle better with different sorts of clients as well we started with one model called e-commerce now we have entered into india's biggest e-commerce uh, we have recently tied up with a company very big e-commerce company in india where we have started this distribution center model in tier two locations with that base we are going to attract more companies in the same and definitely uh, with the strongest team like us we are going to see positive and better results as well in the near future okay uh, yeah. may i may i know your tam sam and uh, customer acquisition cost uh tam sam to start about uh tam logistics especially in e-com logistics the market is very huge in india and uh we have abundant market. We've got very huge market to acquire. We still, even with multiple companies in place and uh, the uh, area still, uh, there is a lot to a lot more to tap. And uh, Sam as well, as I mentioned, uh, there is a huge market. I mean, that's our company's potential or any company's potential to acquire that market. Uh, definitely, it's going to be uh, the huge market in India. And uh, coming to the last uh, customer acquisition cost, we usually solution as client acquisition. As in the cost, we will see one-time cost, which will be there uh, while setting up a new client. 
and once the new client is set up then we will be involving more on unit economics and that too uh, that's not directly linked to us but we are more into this client acquisition right now um, uh, these are the three areas what i uh, see right now uh, and uh, how are you executing it the term and sam that you have explained uh, execution is happening in a very planned manner we have started with one location uh, in hyderabad with one pin code that's how we tested and piloted uh, in those in that specific location then we uh, scaled up to uh, entire city right now we cover the entire city of hyderabad and after uh, scaling up to the entire city we moved on to a different location now we targeted all the metros we are present in all metros starting hyderabad bangalore chennai uh, mumbai pune delhi we are present in these locations and all locations we have our own system delivery fleet will be reporting to that uh, specific location and from that point everything will be delivered uh, to the customers place vendors typically i mean clients in our case they drop the shipments in our distribution centers and the distribution center is being used by multiple vendors as well and by using that the cost has been reduced drastically we don't need to set up a single distribution center for one client multiple people multiple clients are using this location and the cost has been reduced drastically and also uh, the execution has become uh, more effective uh, cause the retention parallelly on the turnaround time has been solved very effectively with this model uh, mega okay uh, can you uh, provide us any customer testimonials for our reference customer testimonials uh, i can't name the uh, client name but all clients who we work are uh, all top india's biggest e-commerce company and definitely we have got very good feedback the uh, I, when i when we piloted it was only one pin code with that specific client and now we have spread it across uh, 13 to 15 locations uh, for the same client that itself shows uh, they have got the trust and they have got uh, belief in us and which is uh, making us to scale up so uh, rapidly and also have got thoughts to uh, enter abroad uh, uh, i mean international markets as well this is how uh, our simple example to uh, answer your testimonial uh, client test testimonial uh, okay thank you thank you prashant thank you for your time thank and you. for introducing pickq uh, we wish you all the very best for your journey i hope that you get hunted and spotted very soon thanks a lot thank you mega thank you very much for your time thanks